key Igbo leaders shun Ohaneze Elders Council meeting in Owere. Yes, I bring you greetings once again. You're welcome to our News channel. My name is Ejike. We have a very interesting news here. You know, any news that has to do with Ohaneze and Igbo is always very interesting because Ohaneze is always trending for the wrong reasons, not for the good ones. Since an apex social cultural group of that very caliber can go to the, you know, to the length of reducing itself to the base, what do you expect? They have made themselves an object of ridicule. And what do we do other than to help them, you know, become what they want to be? That is a laughing stock. Something very interesting happened in Enugu yesterday. Sorry, you know where I mean to say. As George Obiozo lead faction of Hanez and Debo convened a meeting that was not attended by any stakeholder among them. Hmm. And I hope by now you know that there are two factions in Hanez and Debo. The one led by Obiozo, the Fulani Stooge, and the other one led by engineer Chidi Ibe. Now, before we go into the news in details, if this is your first time of coming across this very channel, or you've been watching without subscribing, please, your favor is highly needed. Subscribe and click the bell icon for subsequent notification. Even as we thank all our returning subscribers, thank you and Elohim bless and promote each and every one of you. Now the news in details. Please guys, you have to bear with me. Where I am right now is slightly noisy at the background. But I have to do this video because I may not meet up later. The Ohanezendibo Elders Council meeting witnessed low turnout of key members in Owere, the Yimo State Capital, on Saturday. Of course, Saturday was the 27th of March, 2021. Now, the meeting was convened by the Ambassador George Obiozo, a faction of Ohanez and Debo. Daily Post records that the engineer Chidibe led Ohanez and Debo had on Friday described the Elders Council meeting at Uwera, Imo State, as a desperate plan by a few people to mortgage the collective interests of the Southeast ahead of 2023. He had also alleged that the meeting was to launch a strategy against the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB. Their statement had read, It has come to our notice that Chief Emmanuel Iwanyawun, whose tenure has elapsed as chairman of Hanez and Debo Elders Council under the tenure of Chief Nyamwodo's tenure 2017-2023, is going against the Hanez constitution and illegally parading himself as chairman. It's unbelievable and contradictory that Chief Emmanuel Iwanyamu and Governor Horopo Zodema will join forces with Igbo external detractors to use a legal procedure to score cheap political goals and to appease their paymasters. Now, before I proceed, don't get it twisted. You know, you mentioned uh, Emmanuel Iwanyamu as the chairman of the Ohane Zendibo Council of Elders. So that does not replace the position of Obiozo as the President General of Ohaneze. So that is another office. So both of them joined together in collaboration with Ozodema to host a meeting, which nobody attended. Now I proceed. Now listen to this very important part. According to Ohaneze Ndebo's constitution, the President General of Ohaneze Ndebo and the Chairman of Elders Council can never be from can never come from the same state, which makes the Uwere purported meeting illegal and unacceptable to Ndibo. The Elders Council meeting cannot hold outside Enugu, that is the second one, which makes the gathering not of Ohaneze Ndibo. Have you seen Chidi Ibe, the factional president of the other group now, Chidi Ibe now, has given two major reasons why the meeting, the purported meeting held at Owere yesterday is null and void. One, both of them, Iwanyawu, the chairman of the Ohana Zendibo Council of Elders, and the President General cannot come from the same state. Besides, the meeting was supposed to be held at the Imobi of Ohana Zendibo, which is Enugu, or which was supposed to be Enugu. But then, they convened the meeting 
Inowere. Now I proceed. As a result, the Ohanes and Nibo hereby disown the purported meeting and urge prominent Igbo elders illegally invited not to soil their integrity and reputation by attending an illegitimate gathering and compromised meeting teleguided by Igbo external detractors. Elders Council, as an important organ of Ohanes and Nibo, cannot be hijacked by desperate politicians to negotiate for vice presidential slot on behalf of Southeast and endorse the Uzode mass military assault against IPOB and ESN. Did you get that very, you know, important revelation that he made there? Now, emerging report from the meeting has now shown that several elders from across the Hanese states were not in attendance. So there is a desperate secret move to, you know, which hurt the Eastern Security Network, which hurt IPOB, and, you know, to sustain the continuous militarization of the Southeast region, being sponsored by the Supreme Court imposed Sarakin Fulani of, um, of Imo State, Uzodema, or Uzodejo. Now, it will interest to know that out of the five Southeast governors, only the hosts, Uzodema, Hope Uzodema of Imo State, and his counterpart from a boy state, Chief David Umahi, were said to have been in attendance. And among all that important dignitaries that would have honored the meeting, none of them came. All the key stakeholders did not come. Other governors and most members of the National Assembly also stayed away. There was also a drought of religious and traditional leaders at the event. Ohaneze has been facing serious crisis since January when the chief Niamwodo Steno came to an end, the development snowballed into the factionalization of the Igbo group, with the president general of each of the groups coming from Imo states. They should actually be very, very ashamed of themselves, because Namdekano has told them that he doesn't want to see any convened meeting of Ohanes and Igbo in the whole of the Southeast region. And I have no doubt is one of the reasons that may have made them not to come to the meeting. If not, I see no reasons why at least the whole of the governor, the whole of the five eastern state governors would have been there because all of them, you know, were all of them had a hand in the installation of the Fulani Stooge Obiano, uh, sorry, um, Obiozo. It was all the governors that installed Obiozo. So why couldn't they come to the meeting? Perhaps they were afraid of unknown government. Nothing would have done them now. On the side of the Ibe, I know Ibe has been fighting a just cause. Whether he supports 2023 presidency of Ibe extraction or not, I don't want to double into that. But at least he has been making some very good vital points. And he has been making some vital revelations. At least to have alleged that one of the one of their evil agendas of convening that meeting is to find a way of sustaining the militarization and the attack on Eastern Security Network, on IPOB, and by extension against the whole of the Southeasterners, or Bia France. You'll recall that last time Obiozo went to Lagos to host a meeting. Imagine an organization like that of Ohaneze, an international reputable socio cultural organization led by somebody of his caliber was convened outside Igbo land. That is an abomination. They left Imobi in Enugu, the headquarters of Igbo Apex Group, and the headquarters of everything that is being done traditionally, culturally, in Igbo land. As they, they left Enugu to go to Uwere and convene a meeting. It is illegal now. Anything that has to do with the social cultural apex Igbo organization, it cannot host it outside the MOB Enugu. You see, all I know is that nobody can stop the Eastern Security Network, nobody can stop IPOB, nobody can stop our agitation. And by the time we are done with them, they will be ashamed to answer that name, Mohanes and Debo. And why they should be ashamed to answer it is because they have highly politicized our once revered apex social cultural organization because it used to be totally opposite of what it is today 
Thank you guys for watching and please do well to subscribe to our channel before you go. May God bless each and every of you in Jesus' name.